Hey, weirdos. Uh, before we get started, I would like to apologize for my gruesomeness. Uh, the psoriasis is coming back horribly today, so... Uh, and I don't have filters. Well, yeah, I guess I could use a filter for this, couldn't I? All right, we'll do that. Okay, that's better, I, I guess. Uh, anyway, um, as you've already told from the title, I finally saw Stephen King's It from 1990. Now, I've never seen it before. I know, here it is, 27 years after it was released, finally getting around to it. Uh, ask my parents. I've been a procrastinator all my life. But uh, I, I still, I've always wanted to see it just be, just because of the hoopla. Everybody's, everybody talks about it. Now that we have a new rendition of the film coming out uh, uh, for a big budget version, not the TV version like, uh, for, like from 1990, everybody's talking about it. So I figured, all right, I, need, I do need to go and just check it out. Now, the reason I haven't done it up until now is I'm not really, I mean, I know that I'm the, the narrator of Weird Darkness and Horror Nights, uh, another channel here on YouTube, but I'm not really a horror fan. I enjoy narrating it. I, I enjoy telling the stories. I'm not, uh, I'm going to move this just a little bit. <clears throat> Uh, I like telling the stories, but I'm not really a fan of watching them. They just they don't really do anything for me. I'm usually bored, so that's one of the reasons that I put it off. Also, it was never on Netflix for free that I found, uh, and I didn't want to go out and rent it because, again, like I said, I wasn't all that interested. But for some reason, I got that little itch up my butt today to do it, so I uh, jumped on Amazon and rented it for $3.99 and decided to watch. All three and a half hours of it. I had no idea it was that long. Wow! Good thing I work from home and I'm able to kind of make my own schedule. I mean, there are things that I have to do at certain times during the day, but I can take a long lunch. Thank goodness. So long as I keep track on things. But All right, so my thoughts. First off, it's a TV movie, so you kind of have to keep that in mind while watching it. And it's also a TV movie from 27 years ago. From 1990, there are things you can get away with on network television today that you could not get away with back then. So keeping that in mind, uh, in fact, that didn't really bother me because I'm not really a Gore fan anyway. Uh, I didn't want to vote for him when he was running for president, and I also don't like Blood Gore. Uh, okay, that was a stretch. I'm sorry. But that being aside, uh, the story itself, good story. I mean, it's Stephen King, so obviously it's going to be a good story. Um, Pennywise, you, I, great job. <laughs> uh, Tim Curry, I mean, how, how can you improve on on uh, on Tim Curry for anything? But, all right, so here's, here's where I'm coming from, though. Nah, it, it was okay. Um, I don't know if it's worth three and a half hours. I understand the novel is really, really long, so it probably took this long to tell the story, which makes me wonder what they're going to do for the new movie coming out, unless they're going to make two parts out of it. I don't see how they're going to be able to smush all of that in into a 90-minute, two-hour movie, or even two and a half hours is going to be tough. They're going to have to cut out a lot of stuff. But even then, um, I was actually looking forward to seeing the actors, because I went on to IMDb, and I, I saw there was Richard Thomas and Tim Reed, um, Annette O'Toole, Harry Anderson, which I absolutely loved on Cheers and Night Court. So I'm thinking, this is going to be a great cast. Awful. Terrible acting by the by the adults. Richard Thomas was the best. He actually was the most believable. Uh, no, I take it back. An Annette O'Toole was, was probably the most believable uh, of them all. But still, I mean, and maybe it was the dialogue they were given because it was pretty stilted. Uh, but just... It was, it was actually kind of painful to watch the adult sections in this. The kids, on the other hand, were, were great. The kids were awesome in this. I, and I can't remember any of their names offhand, and I apologize. But they were believable. I actually, I wanted to follow the kids the entire time. But maybe that's why, with this new movie, um, at least I think, they're just following the kids. They're not going to do the adult and then kid thing back and forth telling the story. Um so kind of like a Stranger Things idea. Stick with the kids. That's where the winning, uh, that's the winning formula right there. So I think that's probably what they're doing with the new It. And I would have enjoyed this a lot more if it was just 
the kids. Now, granted, I know they didn't have a choice. That's Stephen King wrote it with the adults uh, and the kids, you know, their their lifespans, 30 years in between. But still, uh, I would have enjoyed just watching the children. If the children had, had killed it uh, at the very end, that would have been cool with me. Um, so it's all right. It, it's all right. Um, if you, if you have three and a half hours in an afternoon to kill, you've got absolutely nothing else to do. It's worth a watch, but it's not what everybody makes it out to be. Now, that being said, like I said, it does, it did come out 27 years ago. And most of the people that are talking about it now are people that watched it when they were children. And I think that is what the thing is. If I had now great now in 1990, I was 20 years old, 19 or 20 years old, depending on what time of the year this came out. So it probably still wouldn't have done anything for me back then. But if I had been eight, nine, 10 years old in watching this, it would have scared the crap out of me. So I I'm just, especially if you had all the lights out in the room and you're watching this, uh, and if you're able to watch it all the way through, not the miniseries that they had on television, which took two or three nights, if you were able to watch it all the way through in one setting in the dark and you were you're still a little kid, yeah, uh, Pennywise would have scared the tar out of you. So that I see, that I can understand. If you were a little kid and you watched Stephen King's It, the miniseries from 1990, I get it. I understand why you love it. Uh, we all have those movies that we grew up with that we look back on now thinking, my gosh, that's lame. But they still have something in our hearts that we love, and so that's why we watch them. Uh, and I can understand if it happens to be it for you. So I'm hoping that the new one that comes out uh, actually does improve upon the old. Or at least do a completely different take where you're not going to see it coming. But now that I've seen the 1990 version and I've seen the trailer for the new version of it, they're actually taking some scenes directly out of the TV series. And I'm guessing that's just because of the people that have fond memories of the original. So they're that's kind of giving their tribute. But it'll be interesting to see what they do with it. I probably still won't see it in theaters. I'll probably wait until it shows up on Netflix or Amazon because, I, again, I'm not going to pay a whole bunch of money to go see a horror movie. But it looks kind of interesting. But again, so on a scale of uh, one to five uh, for uh, for Stephen King's it the the TV series, I'll give it a three. 